at cooking your sausages. Right, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we just drove down into Essex last night for a little weekend in the pub here or campsite called The Stranger's Home. Just had breakfast as you see and um, Louette is going to give you a little chat about where we are and what we're doing. Well we're here in Bradfield which is not far from Manning Tree and also not far from Harwich. So it's very handy if you want to catch a ferry over to Holland. We're going to go over to Harwich now. There's uh, Apparently it's quite a nice place for camper fans to pull up. So we'll let you know about that because that would be quite handy if you were there a bit early. I think there's a Morrison's and there's a cafe nearby. And there's a quite a few industrial area shops. Um, so it would be interesting to see what that's like. It's a nice place actually. We like it, don't we? We're going to go for a walk soon to the, down to the estuary. Yeah, so like I said, we're just going to pop out now around the estuary. What I'll do is uh, grab the camera and we'll show you around the site what it looks like. There is a pub on site, have we, as you said, the Strangers Inn pub, um, which is open when we come here. It does a, a meal last night, but it closed at nine o'clock. So if you're coming down here, um, I'm not sure whether that's the same in the summer or not. It is um, December now. Um, and it has got a busy junction, which you can hear at night in the mornings. Um, quite a lot of lorries and that, not mostly during the day, just first thing during rush hour. Um, quite a few lorries going past. But the site's quite nice and clean, lots of electric hookups and pitches. And if you come out of the site and do a right walk up the road, there's another pub. What's the name of that pub called? The Maid. The Village Maid. That is it, the Village Maid. So Village if you want to go out for the night, the best place to walk down the road to the Village Maid. Um, that's minutes. where all the locals go. It's 10 minutes away. Dogs are allowed in there. They're not allowed in the Strangers Inn. It's all on the um, so, Yeah, the Village Maid is, uh, uh, we went there last night and the locals are great in there. It's a really nice, friendly pub and it's quite, quite busy. Mm. Um, Another thing to mention that also that this is an adults only site, but although it's adults only, if you look at the website, I think they allow children on grandchildren if you own one of the static vans, so you might see kids around. Um, other than that, it's quite a nice little site for location. If you want to get over to Holland and you need to get the ferry, you can stay here for the night and you aren't far away from that ferry trip over to Holland. You can see the front gate there, it's got a security gate, so it's quite secure on this site. And it's quite a lot of hard stand pitches, all with electric hookup on site. They're quite small pitches in the way of hard standing but then you've got a nice grass area then to put your awning up. You can see our van there sitting on its little pitch. And so we just have a little walk around the site to show you a bit about what it looks like around here. So this is the back entrance to the pub. You can go through that white door there and you can get into to the pub. You can obviously go around through the next entrance over here and get around to the front. And it'd be quite nice in the summer because you can sit out here, buy your van, and have a pint of beer. And just down here is the toilets and showers. Right, so the site's got a few static vans, as you can see, set up. And there's a lot of concrete pitches set up for static vans. So I expect whether this is new, it looks very new, and they've got a lot of vans coming in. So that's going to fill the site up a bit, but it's still got a lot of touring pitches down the bottom where we was. A few hard pitches where you can see the vans are now. And then you've got the grass field, all with electric hook up by the looks of it. Right, so down here I've got the toilets and showers, just on the side of the pub. And this is where you walk round to get to the front of the pub. This is the men's gents. Try the showers out later on. Right, so you're coming out of the campsite, turn left, you come to this dead end sign. And apparently following down here, you should be able to walk down to the estuary. This is where we're going to go take staff a walk. <laughs> Alright, so this is the real stair. Um, it's just, just got down to from the T-junction. Down that way is down to a nature reserve. In Revness and an RSPB centre. And if we spin around, down that way is to Manning Tree, which we don't know where we can get to by footpath. I believe we can when I looked at the Ordnance Survey map, um, but it's really muddy being this time of year, so we're probably not going to do it. But if you do get down this way, it'll be a nice little walk from the campsite all the way down to the main town. Um, other than that, 
it's a nice little walk down to the estuary which you've got behind us um, probably a great place to come bit of, do a bit of sea fishing even when the tide's in and bird so, watching I'd say yeah Right, so just down the end of this T-junction, there is a, another campsite, Ragmarsh Farm. No phone number here, but and they're probably not open. But it would have been nice to find out whether you could put the man in there for the night, right by the estuary, as you can see in the background. That would have been a lovely spot last night with the clear stars we had as well last night. Um, so we'll find out, see if we can get a hold of the phone number for this, and I'll put it in the description below. Okay, so we just tried to drive down to Harwich and the A120 is closed and it's causing absolute havoc out there on the roads. So we did a U-turn and come down here to Manning Tree. Um, so you can see the van parked up there on the road um, and this is um, called Walls, this road, which is the perfect place to park, park up your van, really. And it's just a walk down behind us into the main town where we're going to go in a minute. And you've got a nice estuary behind us as well. Right guys, so um, this will be the end of the vlog, so please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, nice little site actually, as you can see the walk to the estuary is quite easy to do and the area that you've seen was quite nice, some place you can go. Um, we'd probably definitely come back here again, we did find out that the traffic that you can hear in the background is um, probably because of a diversion they've got ongoing at the moment. Um, so they're diverting traffic up this way, which is causing all the lorries to come up here and they're getting lost and they don't know where to go. So that's causing a lot of traffic that I expect isn't normal. Um, so I bet in the summer, this is quite a nice, peaceful site. Mm. A couple of nice pubs. They've got the pub here that might be open later in the summer, we don't know, but it, um, winter time it isn't. Um, and the pub down the road, which is well worth popping into if you're coming down this way. It's a nice little communal area out there. So you thought if you were having a drink, other campers might have a drink. Yeah. It's quite a nice little communal area, which you don't often get on campsites, do you? Yeah, so when we showed you around the site, you saw them little uh, picnic fences, uh, picnic, Tables. Tables even. Mm. Um, so you can probably get a pint of beer. You might even be able to get a pint of beer and bring it back to your van. Mm. So, yeah, some, some parts of it are not, it's a nice site. We've just been unfortunate we're here when they're doing a diversion of all the traffic. So you can actually hear the lorries and it's very busy out there at the moment. So, it's worth a second stay, in it? But yeah, it's worth probably coming again mm. to you see summer. what it's like. So anyway, we'll see you next time we go away. Um, got a few more technical things going on the van. So, Watch out for my channel and Stay tuned. yeah, I'm going to update a bit more about the battery shunts and at some point we're going to do some more work on the solar. I want to look at parallel and series and the benefits and the negatives of that as well. Exciting stuff. <laughs>